Course Title, Fundamental of Education Course No. Ed 411 Nature of Course, Theoretical Level, B.Ed. Credit Hours, 3 Semester, First Teaching Hours, 48 Prepared by, Shivraj Tripathi B.Ed, M.P.A. and M.Ed. Course Description This course is designed to orient the students to theoretical and fundamental characteristics of education. It also deals with philosophical and sociological approaches to education. Similarly, it covers educational thought of prominent educationists including recent trends of educational development in Nepal. The course intends to develop an insight into the students in relation to bases of education focusing on interactive participation of both the students and teachers. General Objectives The course is designed with the following general objectives. To develop broader understanding on bases of education. To familiarize the students with the approaches to education. To assist the students to analyze the philosophical base of education within different schools of philosophy. To develop students' knowledge on the sociological basis of education and identify its possible use in education. To acquaint the students with basic educational thought of prominent educationists. To make the students competent in reviewing the trends of educational development in Nepal. Specific Objectives and Contents Specific Objectives Contents Explain the concept of approaches to education. Clarify concept of open and distance education and continuing education. State the process of open and distance learning. Elaborate needs of continuing education and skill-based and competency-based approaches to education. Draw implications of skill-based and competency-based approaches to education. Unit, 2 Approaches to Education, 5. Open and Distance Learning. 2.2.1 Concept. Learning occurs all of the time. Learning is an enduring change in behavior. Learning involves change. Experience is necessary for learning. Concept of Open Learning. During late 1960 US with annotation of United Kingdom Open University, UKOU, concept of open learning was initiated. This ideology of open learning later led to the, open movement to. Open to implies removing barriers to learning, such as restrictions on time or place of study. Types of open learning. 1. Correspondence course KQFRF slash LZIFF underscore. 2. Distance education. 3. Self-study. Element of open learning. 1. Spration of teacher and student. 2. Selection and preparation of learning material. 3. Participation in an industrialized form of education. 4. Two-way communication. 5. Use of technical media. 6. Teaching learning students as individual, want to own you. Concept of distance learning. The term distance is originated from the Latin term, distancio. Meaning of the term, distance show is the length of the space between two points. Distance learning is offered or received from far off point or place. Condeeds can study from any geographical location. Condeeds are allowed to take admission without any age restrictions. Distance learning is broadcasting and telecasting based modern means of non-formal education. Distance learning, this is often replaced by open learning. Rational for distance learning. 1. Access to education. Access to higher education. 2. Quality of education, same quality of content slash education for all. 3. Relevance of education, convenient and emergency. 4. Cost of education, cost effective. Conclusion The concept of open learning and distance education system focuses on open access to education and training to make the learners free from the constraints of time and place, and offering flexible learning opportunities to individuals and groups of learners. 2.2.2 Process A process where physical separation of the teacher and students. Two-way process. Connecting and interacting with multiple nodes of learning. Considering multiple perspectives. Contextualizing learning through feedback. Contributing to community. Contextualizing learning and finding personal relevancy. 2.2.3 Learning materials, aids slash tools slash kits. E-learning to be sustainable. E-learning materials rich environment is necessary for making teaching learning effective. We remember 20% of what we hear. 
We remember 30% of what we see. We remember 50% of what we see and hear. We remember 90% of what we say and do. I hear, I forget. I see, I remember. I do, I understand. Learning materials are the tools to help the learners to learn the concept with ease and efficiency. That are used to aid in the transference of information. Role of learning materials. Delivery vehicle of instructional learning. Meaningful personal interpretations. Medium in representing learning outcomes. Materials. Teachers learning. A printed materials, sense of vision. E-learning through reading guy. One correspondence lesson KQFRF slash KF7 underscore. Two determined books. Three recommended materials. Four printed work, hard copies. Five programmed instruction. Six instruction materials. Seven self-learning materials. Eight modules. Nine textbook. Ten courses materials. Eleven skill book. Twelve curriculum. Thirteen dot teacherous book slash manual slash guide. Fourteen work text. Fifteen contact classes note. B audio materials, sense of hearing. E learning through listening guy. One radio. 2 gramophone, 3 tap recorder, 4 records and podcasts, 5 audio tapes, 6 audio cards, 7 cassettes, 8 microphone, 9 audio conferencing, 10 telecasting, see visual materials, sense of vision, e-learning through viewing guy, 1 dot black slash whiteboard, 2 charts, 3 models, Four graphs. Five pictures. Six maps. Seven posters. Eight flash cards. Nine real objects. Ten photographs. Eleven transparencies. Twelve lesson broadcasting KF7 backslash of plus ZSFK, F slash zero F underscore. Thirteen websites. Fourteen online classes. Fifteen E materials. 16 e-learning d audio visual materials sense of vision as well as hearing e-learning through listening and viewing guy one tv two films three computer assisted instruction four smart classes five slides and tapes six video and multimedia e-electronic interactive electronic interactive for alternative learning guy one computers Two graphing calculators. Three tablets. Four computers conferencing. There are four principal ways in which learning materials are produced. By an instructional designer who is the content provider and the writer. By an instructional designer who commissions freelance content providers to write the materials. By an instructional designer who converts text provided by a teacher. By a team of people, including content providers, instructional designers, and specialists such as audio and video producers. Continuing Education Concept Continuing Education, CE, is a broad concept that includes all the learning opportunities that all people want a broad concept that includes all the learning opportunities that all people want or need after completion of a literacy program and primary education. Continuing Education, CE is all the learning activities that occurs after an individual has completed his basic education. Cooper. That education which builds on previous education. Shannon. Continuing education, CE, is any extension of opportunities for reading, study, and training to young persons and adults following their completion of or withdrawal from full-time school and college. Dictionary of Education. 2.2.2 Needs. Air readers are literacy. One individual level. E information is powery. Continuing education is an accepted way of life. Increase confidence. Improve knowledge. Increase self awareness. Increase professional awareness. Sense of achievement. Personal development. Learning makes life easier, fuller, longer, and more enjoyable. Two group level. E information is strengthy. Behavioral change in group A group consists of two or more people coming together underscore. Attitude change. Effective communication. 
Cross, Cultural Analysis. Intergroup Education. 3. Professional Level. E. Information is Opportunity AC. Increase Career Opportunities. Meet the Need of the Learner. To Conduct Child Friendly and Effective Teaching Learning Activities. Motivation The process that account for an individual is intensity, direction, and persistence of efforts toward attaining a goal slash a basic psychological process underscore in doing. Content is the context for TACking skills. Increase the quality of service delivery. Workers to stay current with the latest developments, skills, and new technologies required for their fields. To comply with laws, remain licensed or certified, or maintain membership in an association or licensing body. For learner level, e-learning is never-ending process e. Crete or extension of learning opportunities. Learning-centered practice. Better update the CAVST, knowledge, attitude, value, skill, and techniques. Improve information. Improve communication skills. Enhance learner CAVST, knowledge, attitude, value, skill, and techniques. Builds on previous education. Learning has practical purpose. Learning is permanent change in human capabilities. Shape their own destiny. Social cognitive theory suggests that knowledge is a pre condition to change. 5. Manager level. E. Continuing education for effective management. E. Motivation for personnel. Prepare in administrative and leadership positions. Rapid technological advances related to knowledge explosion. The gap between knowledge and its application. Acquire specialized skills of personnel and meet technological adjuncts. Career advancement. 6. National level. E. Continuing education for national development AE. Readers are good leaders of nation. Learning opportunities that all people. Human resources development. Contributing national earning. National building. To prepare our country for the future. 7. Inter-national level. E. Continuing education for inter-national PCE. World peace. Contributing world human resources development. 2.3 Skill-based and competency-based approaches to education. 2.3.1 Concept. Skill-based approaches to education. EF slash DFSFD, VNTLDF BFD slash DFHDFD. Skill-based approaches to education is a methodology centered on the development of a skill set throughout a lifetime education, higher education, and career. Skills are ideal for lifelong learning. Skill-based approaches to education is more of practical learning. In a skill-based classroom, teacher focus on improving education through planning and practice. To help students to retain concepts, instructors plan, discuss ideas, and provide constructive feedback so that students can reflect on the skills gained in classroom. Competency-based approaches to education. Implies a Ike know-how-to-act-I process. Involves the necessary knowledge and capacities that a given situation requires. Competency is the final stage of a psycho A or period. Define competencies real lift base. Apply application oriented in real life. Measure through learning outcomes. Goals and objectives. An instructional objective described in task based terms that include a verb describing a demonstrable skill such as answer, interpret, or request. Example MS student will able to, a. It more concerned on the product rather than process. 2.3.2 needs. E skill based approach to education is an effective approach. Yeah. E-skill-based approach is useful in standard-slash-quality education AE. E-competency-based approaches to education focus on the achievement slash product I. One individual level. Promotes transfer into area LIFIA. Skill are an integral aspect of literacy. Change in behavior observable human activities underscore. A soluation for personal growth. Job in market, food in basket. Two group level. Behavioral change in group. Activity based. 3. Professional level. To support critical inquiry and social change. To develop related skills. Competency assessment. Multidisciplinary support. Gain information. Verify existing knowledge. For learner level. Information cannot meet the needs of all students but skills can, now and over their lifetime. 
Active learning support retention and develop learning. Transfer is increased when students can practice. To provide practical knowledge. 5. Manager level. Skills to manage your influences. Skills to overcome berries and obstacles. Addressing multiple risk factors using a skill based approach has been shown to be more effective. Competencies to access, understand, appraise, and apply information. 6. National level. Culturally responsive. Human resources development. National building. To support positive education outcomes. To prepare our country for the future. 2.3.3 Classroom Implication Here are the classroom implication of skill-based and competency-based approaches to education M. A related to method Logi. Develops critical thinking, ABC model. Content is the context for teaching skills. Skill introduction presenting the steps of the skill modeling the skill practice feedback and reinforcement. Be related to group work. Enhance collaborative problem solving. Groupwise competency. See related to communication. Builds effective written and oral communication. Hones leadership. D related to planning. Proper planning prevents poor performance. To provide a framework or sequence. Skill are the focus. E related to motivation. Increase learner's motivation. Stimulate and develop students' who interest. Learners are motivated to think logically, analyze concepts and apply their insights. F related to learning. Keeps the learners task oriented and active. Sparks creativity. The learner learns appropriate behaviors while doing a specific action. To develop learners into independent thinkers and prepare them for challenges in the future. Uses knowledge, skills, and strategies. For skill adopt, learn, and develop. Skill development is the foundation of each unit. Instructional techniques. The following modes of delivery can be used by the teacher as instructional strategies in the classroom. General instructional strategies. Lecture with the use of multimedia projector. Discussion. Question answer. Brainstorming. Specific instructional techniques. The following techniques will be used for active participation of students in learning process. Unit. Activity and instructional techniques. 2. Groups of students will visit educational institutions with open and distance learning, ODL, program to identify their implementation procedures. The groups will prepare and present a brief report on implementation procedures of ODL program in the class followed by discussion, and teachers' comments and suggestions. Groups of students will prepare and present a comparative report on differences between skill-based and competency-based approaches to education, followed by discussion and suggestions. 6. Groups of students will study different reports ranging from NEP to post-SSRP to identify their milestones. Each of the groups will share the milestones, characteristic features, of these reports in the class. Evaluation. Internal evaluation 40%. Internal evaluation will be conducted by subject teacher based on following activities. Attendance 5. Class participation 5. First assignment 10. Second assignment 10. Third assignment 10. Total 40. 5.2 final slash semester evaluation 60%. Examination division, office of the dean, faculty of education will conduct final examination at the end of semester. Objective type question, multiple choice 10x1 points, 10. Short answer questions, 6 questions x5 points, 30. Long answer questions, 2 questions x10 points, 20. Total 60.